So I did just finish up uh, Lost Stars, which is the first in the latest series. Um, yeah, uh, it's interesting. It is fun in the fact that I just don't know or care about any of these cats anymore. None of them. I'm just completely out of it. Um, so that's fun. But it's also a weird, it's an interesting sort of setup. Um, I do like Bristle Frost. She's interesting. But it's a very interesting setup. Um, and I'm not sure how it's gonna go going forward. Um, I don't know. It's vaguely interesting, but like I said, I don't really feel anything for any of these characters anymore. So that's really fun. But yeah, no. Um, an interesting concept with the broken code and stuff like that. Uh, there was something that reminded me of something but I forgot what it was because mostly it was pretty forgettable and I'm hoping that the rest of the series um, is not that way. I don't know. I do think that I'm kind of out of it at this point when it comes to characters that I really care about because I didn't read about any of these characters as a kid and that's why I care about the other ones. But yes, no, I did finish up book one, next I'm doing book two, and then I think I'm caught up. I think book three might come out this month actually because it's April 6, 2020 right now. I believe the book. Um, comes out this month but pretty much caught up now which is kind of fun so I was kind of mad about the first one in the broken code ones um this one was actually very good I'm actually really enjoying the way that this um, series is going uh, the first book I wasn't really sure how I felt about the characters I kind of like bristlepaw but now I am really enjoying this set of characters and I am really enjoying the plot line I think it's very interesting I'm interested to see who the um imposter is. I've heard rumors that it's um, Ashfur. Uh, it would be cool if it was someone like Hawkfrost, but I don't know. Um, but no, I yeah, no, I was actually very impressed with this one. I know book one I felt kind of mad about. This one I'm really enjoying. Like, this is probably the first newer um, book in the series that wasn't a super edition about the older characters that I really enjoyed. Um, because I did really, really enjoy this one. Um, yeah, no, it was it was a good one. It was very good. I am very excited to see where the plot goes in this. And again, I do like the characters. I like Bristle Frost a lot. I think she's a very interesting character. Shadow Sight's getting better. Um, and uh, he's cute. He's fun. But no, I'm very, very excited to see where this goes. Um, because I think this plot has the potential to go some really interesting places. I don't, I'm wondering if this is going to be the last series, given that these are still making money, I'm guessing not. I know they want to end it after like number four or something like that, but no, I'm excited to see where it goes next, um, and I am liking where it is right now, and I'm, yeah, no, it's a fun time, very pleasantly surprised with this one, good time. So I just finished up Veil of Shadows, and oh my god, okay, so the whole mystery of who Bramblestar, Dana Bramblestar's body, it's actually very interesting, because I'm trying to figure out who, who it is, and um, Ashfur makes the most logical sense with the whole squirrel flight angle, but the hunters seem to be really uh, trying to go for the angle that Ashfur did nothing wrong, and so I don't know if they'd make him a villain. Hawk Frost makes sense with the blue eyes. That's another Ashford thing. Um, Hawk Frost makes sense with the blue eyes, but not really the squirrel flight angle or the lazy angle because he was always pretty ambitious. When I think of lazy and blue eyes, I think of Goose Feather, <laughs> but that doesn't make sense with the squirrel flight angle. Angle. So I'm not sure. Um, I am. I'm not sure. I'm at, at the end of the, at the very end of the book. Squirrel Flight goes, I know who it is. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, of course you do. And of course you're not telling us until book four, which I have pre-ordered, by the way. Now I'm pre-ordering these. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I'm enjoying these quite a bit again. Uh, because, holy shit. Um, yeah, a berry nose fucking died. Berry nose? You can't kill... I think Mouse Whisker is the only one living out of that set now. And I think that's just because uh, he... Um, He's so boring that nobody ever thinks about him. Um, give let Thornclaw rest. Um, Thornclaw needs to be able to go to the Elder's Den. He's the same age as Brightheart, and uh, and um, he's older than Cloudtail, uh, and he needs to the uh, same age as he's with Brackenfur and and uh, Brightheart's sibling. So let him let him rest. Let him go in the Elder's Den. But they they won't do that. Um, but. No, interesting. I'm I'm liking Bristle Frost as well. I don't know what's up, Missy Stars. Ask maybe she just wants to die because she's been alive for so long.
but her, she was just like, geez, like honestly, I don't like Leafstar. I'm liking, I'm liking Leafstar a lot and Tiger Star, man. This Tiger Star is like, Tiger Star is, is bringing all the honor to the name of Tiger Star that his namesake just fucked in the ass. So that's fantastic. I love you, Tiger Star. You're the best. Um, yeah, no, so that was, that, it is interesting. We're getting more answers now. This is actually, I will say, my favorite of the series that I didn't read when I was a kid at this point. I think it's better than the, than the Vision of Shadows by a long shot. I think it's better than, um, oh, what was it called? The, the Omen of the Stars. I think, honestly, the Omen of the Stars, apart from the Dark Forest battle, the Omen of the Stars was kind of meh. Um, I think... I think it's better than the, the the beginning of the clans ones too. It's honestly, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm gonna say, I'm actually excited for book four to come out, which is amazing. This is a series that is for children, and I've been reading since I was ten. So that's fantastic. Like not eight. It's, it's fan loved this one. It was fantastic. So I just finished up Darkness Within, which is book uh, four in the Broken Code series. And we've got some interesting shit going on here. Okay, so it's Ashfur. Uh, like, everybody was kind of guessing. The guy in Bramble Star is Ashfur. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the making Ashfur out to be this fucking mega villain that he's turning into. Like, in Grey Stripes Vow, they kind of retconned his personality a little bit to make him more of a douche canoe. When really, in the original series, he wasn't that bad until, like, squirrel flight rejected him you know like he was not like he was fine you know he was just spring cloud's brother and he was he was okay he wasn't bad but now he's this super mega villain that is just like oh i'm so bad because this girl reject like it's it's, it's stupid um it's, it's fucking stupid and i just i don't buy him as that much of a villain like he's a he's just a douchebag you know he's not an evil like mastermind you know he's no hawk frost he, I, I i would have been i would i wish it was hawk frost i know i didn't he die i think hawk frost died in the dark forest battle so i guess it can't be hawk frost um but I wish it was something more like that than it was because Ashford doesn't make any fucking sense. Maybe it's because they killed off all the other villains in the Dark Forest battle. But so we've got a lot of weird lore here when it comes to the death. Okay, so we still can't reach Starkclan. Um, we brought the sisters back. Uh, Ashford is trapping all the spirits of cats who die now in Bramble Star's body with him and Bramble Star's spirit, which is weird. It's a weird thing. And he also grabbed Squirrel Flight and like dragged her into the moon pool at the end of this one. And so now I, the next book is called The Place of A Place of No Stars. So I'm assuming that that's where he took her to the Place of No Stars. Um, so, um, the Dark Forest, pretty much. I'm not sure how many cats are left in the Dark Forest. I don't think there are very many because I think, like I said, most of them I think got killed at the end of Omen of the Stars. <laughs> you know, like there, there's so much here that's like, if the series hadn't gone on so fucking long. Because, like, I feel like I feel like it was supposed to end after Omen of the Stars, you know? I feel like Omen of the Stars was supposed to be their last series. That, that's the big finale, Battle with the Dark Forest. We defeat Tiger Star once and for all. But Harper made them keep going, and so they're coming up with this, and that's why Ashford is this mega villain. And that's why, that, that's why this guy who's just kind of just a whiny little douche is now, like, the great evil mastermind. And it's still, he still has the same the same sort of agenda here he's still like i, I just want to i just want squirrel flight which is weird like, he's weird he's going through all this trouble you know like and it's just i'm not sure how i feel about it. this is a very interesting book um i hate how shadow sight is being treated i hate it so much mothwing who gave you the right to be such a fucking bitch is it because you're old as shit oh my god like Shadow Sight, I can understand where Shadow Sight's, Shadow Sight's coming from. And I do really enjoy Bris Bristle Frost and, uh, what's his nuts? Um, Root Spring. R Bristle, Bristle Frost and Root Spring are, I really like how their kind of forbidden love is being treated because they have crushes on each other, but they have both looked in themselves and realized that their clan means more to them. And that's really interesting, and I hope that holds through the rest of the series. I hope that I hope that they don't get together unless they end up changing the code, which will be interesting because it's like reading the Dawn of the Clan stuff, and you're seeing how the code got formed, and then we switch to this one, and it's kind of breaking down, and it is weird. Like I, I was kind of expecting to see some of the Wanderers come back at the end of this book, 
like at least like Thornclaw or something like that. Like I know Graystripe has fucked all the way off to, to, to the old forest, but like at least you know like like Thornclaw or like something like that. But no, like none of them came back. I guess we gotta wait for the next book. Um, so I'm not wonder. I'm wondering also why Thornclaw is not a fucking elder yet. I mean, like his brother, is, his brother and his sister, Brackenfur and Brightheart are Thornclaw's like litter mates. Brightheart was one of them too, right? I'm pretty sure she was. I think yeah, because Brackenfur and Cinderpelt were made apprentices first, a little bit early, and then later it was Thornclaw and 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 Brightheart, and then they were made apprentices when they're supposed to. And now Thornclaw is still a fucking warrior. <laughs> For some reason, like, they mentioned here that he's old, but they're just like, they're just like, he's not an elder yet. I'm like, why not? Let the man retire. <laughs> like, it's because he got a young wife, so he got rejuvenated inside. I don't even know. It's, yeah, no, I, it was easy to see that Spotfur was pregnant. That was kind of obvious from the beginning. Um, interesting note here. They mentioned that Daisy wasn't in camp because she was off helping Smokey have new kits. So it's interesting that Smokey's still alive. That's who Daisy lived with. Daisy's old as shit now, too. There's a lot going on. Like, there's so much going on with the lore, and I'm actually a little bit excited. I Like, I hate how the villain, main villain plot is going. I hate that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I hate Ash for being the main villain. I hate it so much. But I'm very interested to see where it goes next. And I don't know where when A Place of No Stars comes out. I'm assuming it's sometime this year. Darkness Within came out last year, 2020. So I'm assuming Place of No Stars comes out sometime early this year, maybe April. Um, I will probably look it up and check it out. Um, but yeah, I will, I have got a lot of feelings. I've got a lot of feelings right now. So I'm, I'm a little bit worried that this is going to be the last Warrior series. And then what will I do to, to, besides, to, to, uh, what will I do? If this is what, 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 what will I do? So I did just finish up another super edition. This is a uh, Grey Stripes Vow, which I think everybody was like, why the fuck does Grey Stripe get a, uh, get a super edition? Um, but then everyone was like, oh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so this one, it goes between two timelines. One where Firestar and Sandstorm are out doing um, Sky Clan stuff and one like now when Thunder Clan is just absolutely trashed. <laughs> and what's really interesting about this is that Graystripe, as somebody, as a cat who was there in the old forest, can see just how awful Thunderclan has become. Like, there is absolutely no respect. <laughs> and, it, like, Graystripe's like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, we respected our elders. It's like, it's, it is basically this cat being like, in my day, and it's pretty good, honestly. There were a lot of moments in here, like, the fact that they were in the old forest, and because Grishrap does go back to the old forest again and he sees Warrior Clan because Smudge has been spreading stories. Um, and it's, oh man, it's just, there's a lot in here that did make me kind of emotional. They're living in River Clan's old territory. He goes back to the Moonstone. It's, did, they, we did see the tribe for a minute there, which I don't like. The, fuck the tribe. I hate the tribe. I still hate the tribe. I will never not hate the tribe. Sky Clan's growing on me. Do not like the tribe. Still do not like the tribe. Please, like, stop showing us the tribe. Please. Throw up, like, give us an avalanche and kill them all, please. Um, but I did, I did enjoy this one quite a bit. I think ah, this is a good one. I don't know what we're looking at for Super Editions now. I'm, I'm almost, I've got, like, one book left and then I'm all caught up between Super Editions and novellas and the main series. Um, so there's gonna be quite a change, like not quite a change, but quite a break because I know that I've got the next novella set pre-ordered. Um, I've got one more Broken Code book. Um, and then we're just waiting. I'm so yeah. I did. I did enjoy this one. I think it was a good. It was a good time. It, it's definitely this is what Superdition should be for. We see the past in the old forest, and we're happy with that. That's the Superditions.